Come on, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. Come on in. Come on in. Just come on in. Shelby wanted to talk to you. <laughs> this is an ambush. <laughs> here, you sit right here. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I got this thing, so I gotta go. <laughs> what you got for Sean? So you're going to Justin Bieber? What's that? <laughs> no. Uh. <laughs> you're not going? You're not gonna go? Do you feel like you're in the go. pressure moment? See, here's the thing. Shelby. This is gonna happen. <laughs> Shelby. Shelby. Shelby says you're going. How do you feel about that? Why should I go? Um, because you have to. I don't have to do anything. Because you both her? Yeah. <laughs> or it's over. Oh, she says it's over if you don't. <laughs> Sean, would you go if it risked your, would you not go if it risked your relationship? Hold on, let I me would. get closer. <laughs> I would go. I would go. Oh, he would go. Give him a hand. Outside the courtroom right now of Oxford High School with the Honorable Judge Christopher Karn. The what case has been presented to this court is the unlawfully obtaining of a man card by, um, from Sean Hazen by Shelby, Shelby Hruska. Shelby will be arriving at the courthouse very soon, and uh, once she's here, we will have access to the courtroom. Shelby, is it true? Shelby, it's true. Is it true? Is it true? How long have you been planning true? Really true. Yeah. Are you really? Do you really love Justin Bieber? Oh, yeah. How much does that start you? Um, I can't even say how much. Is it true? Yeah. The people are all watching your situation. Is it true? What is the situation? No reporters outside if you really enjoy the thing. Gentlemen of the jury, we accuse the defendant of maliciously, vehemently, and despicably attempting to unlawfully remove my client's man. Uh, excuse me, lawyer for the plaintiff, will you please speak up? Thank you. <clears throat> this act of thievery and contempt for the laws of manliness must be dealt with before all civilization as we know it breaks down. Yeah! <laughs> Very good. Will the uh, defendant's lawyer please make his opening comments to the jury?
Always right. Very good. At this time, we will start with the plaintiff's uh, pushing of the witness. But before we do, we need to swear the witness in. Will you please rise? Thank you. Place your hand on this Bible. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth to help you God? Yeah. Raise your hand. <laughs> uh, wait. She nodded. I need to hear it. Do you swear to tell the whole truth, the truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? Yeah. Very good. You may be seated. At this time, will the plaintiff's lawyer please present his case to the defendant? Okay, hold on a second. Will the camera please approach the uh, so we can get better audio and video? Thank you very much. Did you, on the date of Wednesday, February 9th, at approximately 9:30 a.m., confront my client on the issue of attending a certain Justin Bieber film? Yeah. Will the uh, court take note that the defendant? So noted. So noted. Did you not demonstrate hostility in your devilish confrontation with my client? No. Um, I would like to remind you that you're under oath. Yeah, sorry that he um, caves. Did you say he caves? He caves. Very good. <coughs> did you give my client an ultimatum that if he did not attend this shallow and empty-minded film, <laughs> that you're, you would end your relationship with him? Yeah. Did you indeed intend to steal my client's man card by making him choose between the spawn of the devil, Justin Bieber, and my client, who is the essence of all manliness and chivalry? No. You did not. Understanding is, uh, camera can focus on the judge when he's speaking. Thank you. Uh, my understanding is that you have video evidence of this confrontation. I do indeed. May you present that to the judge. Oh my. I have never in my years on this court seen such despicable confrontation over such a shallow and callous film. I appreciate you bringing this video evidence to this court. You may be seated. Does the defendant have anything to present in, the, in the behalf of uh, the defendant's lawyer have anything to present in, in response? No. You rest your case? Yes. All right, do you rest your case? Yes. Closing arguments, please. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, come on, come on. <laughs> that is all. <laughs> Does the defendant's attorney have any closing arguments to make to the jury? Yes, sir. You do. So present them. This man, Justin Bieber, has an angel voice. Not just a girl voice, a man voice. He has hair like mine. You rest your closing arguments? Yes. Very good. We now turn this case over to the jury and I remind you to be objectively minded as you present your decision to this case. Normally we give you as long as you want, but in this case I'm giving you 30 seconds. You may convene to the jury's room and come up with your decision. You have 30 seconds. Please rise for the return of the Honorable Judge Card. You may be seated. Jury, do you have a decision in the bed? Yes, you do. Is it unanimous? We return to unanimous decision, Your Honor. 
Will you please present your decision to the court? I will. As a spokesperson for the jury, I'd like to present the unanimous decision of our jury members. We find the defendant guilty of all charges and with the additional charge of witchcraft. <laughs> <laughs> please stop smiling, <laughs> foreman of the jury. We recommend the, that the defendant be charged as, as the plaintiff has recommended, and we also recommend the penalty of burning at the stake for her crime. Burn! I have never in my years, about 58 years in this court, uh, seen such a case of this, where such a person as Shelby Ruska would attempt to smear this honest law-abiding citizen. I am shocked, I am appalled, and furthermore, disturbed by the cases that have been presented to me today. I have no recourse but to award to, will you please rise, please, uh, a, a, a just, uh, uh, a just, a just penalty and punishment as burning at the stake. Furthermore, before you are burned at the stake, you shall watch any movie that this plaintiff decides that you shall watch. And he shall never, ever in his lifetime or the one beyond that be determined and commanded to watch a Justin Bieber, who is the spawn of the devil, uh, <laughs> to watch a Bieber film. Hey! 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 Stay. Prepare your wishes for your last meal. All right, uh, bailiff, will you please uh, place her in cuffs and move her from my my sight? Burn her! Burn her! Burn her!